Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isang pinagpala at napakagandang gabi. Isang dakilang gabi. Isang pinagpala at napakaganda at dakilang araw sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood. Welcome once again to Das Say the Lord Programs Watch and Listen. Welcome to KOJF Church YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Like, share, follow. Have a watch party. Share the videos to your loved ones and friends. Share the messages and the videos and the sayings here at the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page so are you to all your friends and loved ones most especially. So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon lahat ng nakikinig at nanonood. Welcome muli sa ating uh, pinagpalang araw, dakilang araw upang muli ay maranasan ng kabutihan ng Panginoon. Truly, this is the day, this is the night that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So, bago po ang lahat, tayo po muna ay manalangin. Ano po? Bow down our heads and close our eyes and lift our both hands to Jesus. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, once again, thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your mercy and grace. At tunay nga po, Panginoon, ito na naman ang uh, oras ng aming kaligtasan. Ito ang oras ng aming kagalingan. Kaligtasan sa mga hindi paligtas, kagalingan at himala sa mga nangangailangan nito. At muli ay mararanasan namin ang iyong kabutihan. Sasagutin niyo ang aming mga panalangin at dakilang bagay ang gagawin niyo po sa amin, Padre God. And truly, O Lord, we will experience once, once again your goodness Salvation to those who are in need of salvation, healing and miracle to those who are in need of it. And truly, O oh God, you will continually guide us and lead us and help us as we fulfill your, your highest calling and perfect destiny to our lives. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, Ikaw ang siyang gagabay sa amin, tutulong sa amin upang Diyos malakara namin, magawa namin, Kung ang naong nais mo, ang kalaoban mo, hangarin mo sa aming mga buhay hanggang sa huling hininga ng aming mga buhay. Sa so marami pong salamat, dakilang Ama, we bring back to you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ng malakas ang Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Shall we give the Lord a best clap of praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Huwag kang mahihiyang tumalon, pumalakpak, sumigaw, sumayaw sa harapan ng ating Panginoon. Huwag na huwag mong pipigilan ito. Do not withhold yourself. Do not control yourself. Do not stop praising the Lord. Clapping our hands to God. Dance before Him. Glory to God. And worship Him. Hallelujah. Give to God what is due to God and give our best to God. Alam mo, ito na yung panahon eh. Kung uh, maliligtas ka, dapat ngayon na. At dapat mo nang tanggapin ang kagaling, kagaling at himala ng Panginoon ngayon. Dapat mong maranasan ang kabutihan ng Diyos ngayon. At kung ibibigay mo ang damis sa Panginoon, ngayon na po yun, mga minamahal. So praise the Lord. Glory to God. Shall we open our Bible in the book of Matthew 6.33? Yan, buksan po natin, Mateo 6.33, very popular verse. Popular na popular po itong versikulong ito. Lagi itong binabanggit eh, no? Christian naman o hindi, ito ay laging binabanggit. Whether Christians or I mean those who belong to religion, whether true Christians and those who belong, belong to religions, you know, they know this verse and they keep on quoting this, ber this verse. No? Yung mga nasa reliyon, mga kristyanong peke, mga nagkikristyano-kristyanuhan lamang, mga tunay na kristyano, ito'y laging nababanggit ang Mateo 
6.33. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos atin pong basahin, no? Ang Mateo 6.33. Ako po'y nagbabasa sa NIB. I am reading from the NIB version. So, allow me to speak in English and allow me also to speak in Filipino so that the Filipino people will understand and so that the English-speaking people will also understand. Yan. Taglis po yung pangangaral ko, ha? Para sa Pilipino at para sa mga kapatiran natin. Kasi meron tayong mga kapatiran sa iba't ibang panig ng daigdig. Yan. Na nakikinig at nanonood sa atin, mga kaisa, kapanalig, kasama po natin. We have, pre we have friends and allies and relatives and brethren in different parts of the world. So, allow me to speak Filipino for the Filipino-speaking people and English to the English-speaking people. Mateo 6.33 Ito po ang sabi rito mga minamahal sa Mateo 6.33 Ano pong sabi rito? Yan. Sabi rito, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Unahin mong hanapin pag sumakitan, gawin mong priority, gawin mong number one ang kaharian ni Jesus, ang kanyang kaharian. The kingdom of Jesus. Seek first. Make it your priority. The kingdom of Jesus. It means Jesus himself. Heaven, the throne of God, the will of God, and his righteousness, his purity, his holiness, his cleanliness. And all these things will be given to you as well. What are these things? what we need in this present world. These things means our food and our shelter. Pag sinabi po natin mga bagay na ito, these things, ito po yung ating mga pangangailangan sa araw-araw. Ito po yung ating mga pagkain sa araw-araw. Ito po yung ating sinusot, dinadamit sa araw-araw. Yung mga dapat nating bayaran at dapat nating gastusan. These things means anything that we need in this present world. Food, shelter, dress, money that we have to spend daily, money that uh, we will be used to pay this and that, to buy this and that. These are the these things that... Uh, that the Bible means. Yan. Naunawaan po ba natin yun? Ang liwanag po nun, no? at ang lahat, na, ang liwanag po nito, at ang lahat ng ito ay idaragdag sa inyo. Ano yun? Pagkain, kasuotan, tulugan, no? pamasahi, sasakyan, panggasolina, pambili ng ganito, pambayad ng ganito. Lahat daw ng iyan ay ibibigay ng Panginoon. Alam mo, sa panahon na ito ng pandemya, habang pinapangaral ko ito, nasa pandemya, ano na ito ah, nagsimula ito ng ano ah, 2020. Actually, December, nakapasok daw ang coronavirus sa atin dito sa Pilipinas. At ah, nag-lockdown ng March. Eh, habang pinapangaral ko, April na, no, 2021. So it means, no, eh, more than a year na tayo. No? I believe coronavirus came here in the Philippines last December 2019 and uh, the Philippines had a lockdown on March 15, 2020. And while I am preaching this message, we are now in the April 2021. We are more than in a quarantine. We are more than in a lockdown. We are more than a year under this pandemic crisis. Pandemic means pang buong daigdig. Pag sinabi mo kasing kasing pandemic o pandemia, pang buong daigdig yan. Ngayon ito, ano ang kinakakaba ngayon ng mga tao? Ang kinakakaba ngayon ng mga tao, baka ma-hospital mahawaan ng COVID. Baka magkasakit, magpa-check up, mahawaan ng COVID. Baka ma maka-check in sa hospital o ma-confine sa hospital, e eh baka mahawaan ng COVID. 
O baka naman iniisip ng marami, baka magka-COVID, mamatay. You know, many are now in fear. Yeah, to go to hospital for consultation or to be confined in the hospital to be infected with coronavirus. Many are afraid to be infected with coronavirus and to die because of coronavirus. You know, coronavirus is uh, the fear of many nowadays. Sa mga panahong ito, ang talagang kinakatakutan talaga ng maraming Pilipino at maraming tao sa buong mundo ang coronavirus. Totoo lang po. Glory to God. Kung ikaw hindi takot, ako hindi takot. Oh, kinakabahang lang ng konti. Konti lang, pero nagtatagumpay at hindi nagpapatuloy. You know, nowadays, I could say that many Filipinos are in fear, are in hesitation of coronavirus. And even many citizens of the world are in fear, in hesitation of coronavirus. And in fact, in fact, many are still in the hospital fighting for their lives because of coronavirus. And many died because of coronavirus. Even the frontliners themselves, the doctor and the medical workers, ang dami-daming namatay. Maging yung mga frontliners mismo, eh, nakakalungkot, nakamatay sila. Alam mo, ang mga doktor, mga, mga nurse, mga medical workers, para silang mga police at mga sundalo, na nakipaglaban sa kriminal na nataya ang kanilang buhay at yung ibang mga polis at sundalo habang lumaban sa mga kriminal ay nangamatay sila ganun din ang maraming mga medical workers para silang mga sundalo at mga polis na napaharap hindi sa kriminal sa virus at nangamatay and many policemen police women died because of coronavirus they did not die fighting uh, for the criminals and the lawless people, but they died fighting for coronavirus. They got infected of coronavirus while they are in duty. Yeah, as frontliners. Diba? Kaya maituturing mo po na ang mga, mga medical workers ay parang mga sundalo at mga polis na nakipaglaban sa laban sa mga kriminal eh kasi di ba yung mga polis at mga sundalo nakikipaglaban sa mga lum, lumalabag sa batas at maaring sila yung nam, namamatay eh ganun din ang mga doktor ngayon mga nurse ngayon mga medical workers ngayon mga frontliners ngayon lumalaban sa hindi sa mga kriminal sa virus at maaring sila yung namatay at mayroon nga mga nangamatay at marami rin mga kapulisan ang nangamatay hindi dahil sa kriminal, nangamatay sila dahil sa coronavirus. So brethren, what are the effect of this pandemic crisis in our nation and the nations of the world? Number one, it brings sicknesses and diseases. Yeah, it brings death to many and it brings poverty to many. Many are now in debt. Many Many lose uh, their jobs and businesses. Many are, are you know, cannot, uh, hin, marami ay hindi nila makasama ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Marami ay mga nangamatay, nagkasakit, nangabaon sa utang. Marami ay nawala ng trabaho at nawala ng negosyo. Many cannot see their loved ones face to face. Yeah, because of this coronavirus. They can only see its other, including their friends. Through video call, through social media. But face to face, No face-to-face -face communication. No face-to-face -face contact. 
yun ang ginawa ng coronavirus na ito. Kaya ginigiliw na nakikinig, ginigiliw na nanonood mga kapatid kay Kristo, o sino man ang nakikinig at nanonood ngayon. Mga minamahal, maaring ang kinakatakot mo ngayon, baka magkasakit ka at mamatay ka at walang doktor na gumamot sa'yo at walang ospital na tumanggap sa'yo o baka pamunta ka ng doktor eh mahawaan ka pa ng coronavirus doon ikamatay mo pa yun yun eh number one fear maybe a few and many is to die of any sicknesses and diseases because no proper consultation no no proper face to face consultation maybe as uh, they visit hospital they got in, they will get infected with coronavirus and die so ang kinakatakot mo ngayon o maamarili ka o nang marami yung mamatay dahil sa anumang sakit at ramdaman o sa coronavirus. Hindi na ako magpapakaligoy-ligoy pa. Hindi ko may ipapangako na bukas buhay ka pa. Hindi ko may ipapangako. Hindi ko may ipapangako na mamaya buhay ka pa. Hindi ko may ipapangako. Hindi po. Hindi ko may ipapangako na wala kang sakit mamaya o bukas wala kang sakit o mananatili kang malakas. Hindi ko may ipapangako yan. I cannot guarantee you nor promise you that you will be still alive tomorrow and you are, you, you are still full of vigor and strength tomorrow. That you are healthy tomorrow. I cannot guarantee that. I cannot promise that. Only God knows what lies in the future. Alam mo bang tanging Diyos ang nakakaalam ng lahat ng ito? Kaya ako'y umaapila, ako'y nakikiusap sa'yo, ako'y namamanhik sa'yo, magsisi ka na ng kasalanan, magbalik loob kay Kristo, tanggapin si Kristo bilang Diyos Panginoon, tagapaglitas ng iyong buhay. Dahil maaaring bukas ay huli na ang lahat. The Bible declares, Now is the day of salvation, 2 Corinthians 6.2, For tomorrow may be late. The Bible declares in James 4.13 up to verse 15, We do not know what will happen tomorrow. Our life is like just a miss. Now we see, now we don't. So brethren, ikaw ay nakikinig at nanunod ngayon, nakarating ta sa iyo ang minsaheng ito, ang kapahayagang ito, na nanawagan sa iyo ang Diyos. Magbalik loob na sa Kanya, tanggapin na siya bilang Lord God Savior ng iyong buhay dahil maaaring bukas ay huli na ang lahat. Huwag mo sabihin ikaw ay hindi ko makain ng dugo, may tato ka, bininyagang ka, binotis mo nga, panumpilan ka, may relihiyon ka, nagrorosary ka, nagpipinitensya ka, nagpapasan ka ng krus, nagpapasan ka ng mga ribulto, nagtutulak ng mga ribulto, Iniilawa ng mga rebulto, dinadasalan, inagaantanda, pinupunasan, naniniwala ka sa mga santo at santa. Masyado kang dibutanting religyoso at religyoso. Huwag mo sabihin yan. Pag namatay ka, pupunta ka ng impyerno. Kapag hindi pa sa si Jesus, ang iyong Diyos, Panginoon at Agapalitas, wala kang tunay at malalim na relasyon sa Kanya. No matter how religious you are, No matter how devoted you are to your doctrine, to your dogma, to your religion, to, your, to the catechism of your religion, no matter how devoted you are to your church, to your coalition organization movement, if Jesus Christ is not yet your Lord God and Savior, you have no right relationship with Jesus, then you will go to hell. Yes. Brethren, shall we, shall we read Matthew chapter 6? Chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Basahin po natin, mga minamahal. Ito po ang sabi rito sa Mateo kapitulo 6, versikulo 25. Matthew 6, verse 25. Therefore, I tell you, 
Do not worry about your life. What will you, what you will eat or drink or about your body? What you will wear? Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Ang sabi rito, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? So ibig sabihin, meron kang higit na dapat mahalagahan ang buhay. Ang buhay. Nang ibig sabihin, kinakailangan ang buhay na ito ay magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Yes. We must receive eternal life. Our name must be recorded in heaven. And while we are here in this world, in this world, in this present world, our life must be connected with Jesus. Na ang buhay natin, our life, we, our life, our being, You know, we must in the center will of God. Dapat nasa gitna tayo ng kalaoban ng Panginoon. Para lubos po nating maintindihan, life without Christ will go to hell. Yes. Life without Jesus in our hearts, we will go to hell. Have a right relationship with Christ. Have a right relationship with Jesus. That's it. Again, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life or what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? So, meron kang, meron kang higit sa lahat na pahalagahan. Hindi yung Ano ba kakainin natin? Ano ba ulam natin? Saan ba tayo matutulog? Ano ba ang ka- uh, susuotin natin? Saan ba tayo titira? Saan ba tayo sasakay? O meron ba tayong ganito? Meron ba tayong ganyan? Ang unang tanongin natin, number one, buhay pa ba ako? Pangalawa, bakit ako nabubuhay? At pagkatapos ng buhay, saan ako pupunta? That is the most important thing. You have to ask yourself, why you are still alive? Or what is the purpose of your living here on earth? Will you go to heaven after uh, your your life here on earth? Will you, is your life pleasing to the Lord? Are you doing the perfect will of God in your life now? Is God pleases you in your life now? Hmm. Yun yun eh. Naunawaan po ba natin? Kaya yun ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat eh. Alam mo, yung pumasok sa langit, hindi natin priority. Yung paglingkuran ng Diyos, magpakalinis, magpakabanal, hindi natin priority. Yung gawin ng kalaoban ng Diyos, hindi natin priority. Yung tapusin ng kalaoban ng Diyos, hindi natin priority. You know, we people, many people, no? You know, to go to heaven is not their priority. To live for God is not their priority. To have eternal life in heaven is not their priority. To serve the Lord, to do the will of God, to live a life pleasing to the Lord is not their priority. But we must be, all these things must be our priority. To live for God, to live with God, and to live like God or like Christ. What, what I mean is follow and imitate the footsteps of uh, the puts the good example of Christ while he was still here on earth and his uh, his life no was uh, is recorded here in the bible yeah his commands his teaching his life is recorded here in the bible yung buhay niya yung aral niya yung katotohanan niya yung katotohanan niya nandito lahat sa biblia eh nandito ito ito sa bible na ito sa Biblia. Naunawaan po ba natin? So, glory to God. So, brethren, ang nais ng Panginoon, malaman mo ang, ang tunay na buhay, ang kahulugan ng buhay. 
At maraming tao, hindi nila alam ang buhay, at ang tunay na kalugan ng buhay, at bakit sila nababuhay? Ang akala lang ng marami, kumain, matulog. Ang akala lang ng marami, maligayahan. Ang akala lang ng marami, mangyari yung mga bagay na ganito at ganyan, ganyan, ganyan at ganoon. Ay hindi po. So brethren, listen very carefully. This pandemic crisis is an eye-opener for all of us. That truly Hebrews 9.27 it says, It is appointed unto men to die once and after this, the judgment. It's either heaven or hell. Matthew or Romans 6.23, Romans 6.23, John 3.16. And John chapter 5 verse 24 and 28 It's either eternal life in heaven or eternal damnation in hell. Eternal life in heaven or eternal damnation in hell. Naunawaan po ba natin? Yun ang kinakailangan. We have to choose. Naunawaan po ba natin mga minamahal? John chapter 5 verse 24 after verse 28 after verse uh, 29 John 5 24 after verse 29 read it I tell you the truth whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned He has crossed over from death to life. Verse 28, Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all, when all who are in their, grave, in their graves will hear His voice. And come out, those who have done good will rise to live, and those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. Rise to live, those who do right in the eyes of God, but those who do evil, will rise to be condemned. Nang ibig sabihin, merong final judgment, may, pako, may, pag, may, may paghuhukong. Ang final judgment, tinatawag din Great White Throne Judgment. Final judgment is also called the Great White Throne Judgment. Revelations 20 verse 11 to 15. Revelations 20 verse 11. to 15. Write it down and read it in your free time. So, ano ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat? But seek ye first. Spurs. First, number one, His kingdom. Be a part of the kingdom. Join the kingdom. Be a part of heaven. Join the heaven. Be a part of those who, who are doing the will of God and finish the will of God. Naunawaan po natin. So, kinakailangan makabilang ka sa kaharaan ni Kristo Jesus. Opo, pag ikaw ay nasa bishop kasalanan, nasa kaharaan ka ni Satan. Pero pag ikaw ay tinanggap mo si Christ bilang Lord and Savior ng buhay mo, nalipat ka sa kaharaan ni Jesus. Yes, if you are uh, in sin, you are in the kingdom of Satan, kingdom of darkness. But if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior, you are now in the kingdom of light, the kingdom of Jesus. I am in the kingdom of Jesus. And I will continually in the kingdom of Jesus forever. Ikaw, baka wala ka pa sa kingdom of Jesus, o napahiwalay ka, napalayo ka, naligaw ka, sa kingdom of Jesus. So, balik na sa kingdom of Jesus. Naunawaan po ba natin? But seek ye first. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Basahin natin muli ang Mateo 6.25. Ganda-ganda po ng ating pinag-aaralan. Kaya alam mo, pag tinanggap mo si Christ bilang Lord God Silver ng buhay mo, wala ka ng takot anytime na mamatay ka. Opo. Anytime. Kung bakit ang marami natatakot mamatay? Eh, hindi naman sila sa langit pupunta eh. Pero yung mga hindi natatakot mamatay, 
yung alam nilang sa langit sila pupunta dahil tinanggap nila si Christ bilang Lord God Savior ng kanilang buhay. No, brethren, fear of death will be removed from our heart. Will no longer stay in our heart if we know that after death we will go to heaven because we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord God and Savior. Kaya kung sa oras na ito, natatakot kang mamatay, <laughs> e baka sa impyerno ka pupunta, balik na. Kay Lord, magbalik loob na sa kaharihan ni Kristo Jesus. Maliwanag po ba yon, mga minamahal? Glory to God. Sa purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos na buhay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, glory to God. So, kung, kung tayo po ay nasa kaharian na ni Kristo Jesus, ang sabi ng Biblia, eh wala na dapat tayong ikakaba, wala na dapat tayong ikatakot. Bakit? Kasi una, may buhay na wala hanggang. Tapos, isusupply niya ang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan. Isusupply niya ang lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan. Naunawaan po ba natin yon mga minamahal? O basahin natin yung Mateo 6.33. Basahin natin. Ano po ang sabi rito sa Matthew 6.33? Ano po ang sabi rito? So siguro, basahin natin yung ano, yung bago yung 33, tingnan natin yung 32 hanggang 34. Matthew 6.32 32 hanggang 34. Tingnan natin. Matthew 6, 32 hanggang 34. Anong sabi rito? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Eh mga pagano, ito nga yung una nilang pag sinagsusumakitan eh. O yun ang gusto nila. Yung puro lang ganansya, yung hindi naman mahalaga, ito yung mga pagano. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Its day has enough trouble of its own. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Its day has enough trouble of its own. Abay, pag ikaw ay nasa gitna na ng kalooban ng Lord, nasa kaharihan ka na ni Kristo Jesus, una at priority mo sa Jesus, una mong hinanap ang kanyang katwiran, ang kanyang kabanalan, talagang hinangad mong siya ay nasa puso mo, nananatili siya sa puso mo. Ginagawa mo ang perfectong kalooban ng Diyos hanggang sa huling hiningan ng iyong buhay. Matuwid, madinis, banal ka sa harapan ng Diyos hanggang sa huling hininga ng iyong buhay. Ginagawa mo ang kanyang kalawaban hanggang sa huling hininga ng, kanyang buh- ng iyong buhay. Alam mo, wala ka nang dapat ipag-alala eh. Kasi isusupply niya ang lahat ng iyong mga pangangailangan sobra pa. Yes. If you are living a holy life, a pure, a clean life, if Jesus is the center of your life, you are doing the will of God till the last breath of your life, Jesus is Lord God and Savior of your life, you are in a right relationship with Jesus, then all your needs will be given to you. Even more than sufficient and even more than enough. Philippians 4.19 Philippians 4.19 Our God will supply all our needs according to His overflowing riches and glory through Christ Jesus our Lord. Higit pa sa ating inaasahan, Pilipos 4.19, isusupply niya mula sa kayamanan ni Kristo Jesus na hindi maubos-ubos. Glory to God! Ang sabi ko, hindi maubos-ubos. Kaya gusto kong ipaalam sa iyo, kingdom of Jesus, people of high calling and people of destiny, apostolic people, hindi mauubos ang kagalingan para sa atin, hindi mauubos ang himala para sa atin, hindi ma- mauubos ang mabuting kalusugan para sa atin, hindi mauubusan tayo ng mga pagpapala at promosyon mula sa Panginoon. Tuloy-tuloy yan. Ang sabi ko'y tuloy-tuloy. Continuous healing and miracle, continuous goodness of God, continuous health, health, and continuous blessings and promotions abundant, abundantly for all of us. People of a calling and people of destiny, kingdom of Jesus people, apostolic people. Hallelujah! Glory to God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Palakpakan natin ang malakas ang Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Urabashiri biyanda rahande. Hallelujah. Verse 26. Matthew 6.26 Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in burns. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Alam mo na ito, pinapangaral mo na nga ito eh. Tingnan mo ang mga ibon. Eh hindi naman yan nagtatanim pero kumakain yan. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, sow and gather in burns. And yet, the heavenly Father feeds them. Alam mo kung mahal ng Diyos ang mga ibon, mas mahal tayo ng Diyos. Yes. Truly God loves the animals and the birds of the air. But God loves us more than the birds and the animals. Yeah. Glory to God. Purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Who of you, by, care, by worrying, who of you, By worrying can add a single hour to his life. Alam mo, kaalala mo, kaiisip mo, mamatay ka dyan kaagad ng maaga. Alam mo, yung iba hindi naman namatay sa coronavirus. Sa tako sa coronavirus na matay. Opo. Many died not because of coronavirus, not any sicknesses and diseases, not by anything but by fear. They had a heart attack. They had heart attack because of fear. Cardiac arrest because of fear. Verse 28 and verse 28. And why do you worry about about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed, was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, Will he not much more clothe you on little faith? So do not worry saying, What shall we eat or drink? Or what shall we wear? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothed the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will He not much more clothe you, O, o you little of faith, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows what you need them that you need them, but seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all your needs will be given to you as well, will be added unto you. Tingnan mo naman ang mga bulaklak sa bulaklak ng damong lily of the field. Tingnan mo yung bulaklak ng damong lily of the field. Kaganda! Mas maganda yan sa kasawatan ni Solomon. Oo. Pero walang nagtahi niyan. So, damo yan, hindi pinabayaan ng Diyos. Eh, mas lalo na ikaw, mas mahal ka ng Diyos sa damo. Hmm. Nakikinig pa ba ho tayo? If the lily of the field considered as grass, has a beautiful flower, beautiful than the dress of Solomon, if God cares for a grass, the Lord cares for us so much. Naunawaan mo ba yun? Naintindihan po ba natin? Kung naintindihan natin, palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. If you understand what I am saying, so clap your hand to God. Hallelujah. And give glory to God. So brethren, all we need, all we need, not want, ha? Anything that we need, not anything we want, God will supply all our needs. Yeah, truly. No limit. More than enough, more than sufficient, abounding, overwhelming, continuous, like a spring of water, like water in the river, 
continuous flowing. Hallelujah. Without ending. No ending. Only the secret. This is the only secret. God be the priority of our life. Seek for His kingdom. Do His will. Be a member of the kingdom of Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior. Be Jesus the King and Lord, God, and Savior of your life. Yun lang ang sikreto eh. Napakadali ng sikreto, kapatid. No? Alam mo, kapag si Kristo na ang number one ng buhay mo sa lahat, alam mo, wala, wala ka ng problema. Ang sabi ko, wala ka ng problema. Wala ka ng problema. Pag namung problema ka sa buhay na ito, eh baka hindi si Jesus ang number one ng buhay mo. Kasi pag number one ng buhay mo si Jesus, wala ka ng problema at hindi ka na namung problema. At anumang problema mo, hindi problema yan. At hindi mo problema yan. Problema yan ni Jesus, so solution na niya yan. Yes! If Jesus Christ is the Lord God and Savior of your life, you are a member of the kingdom of Jesus. You are in the kingdom of Jesus. You are in the center will of the will of God. You are in the center of the will of God. You are doing the will of God till the last, the, till the last breath of your life. Brethren, you have no problem. All your problems will be Jesus' problem and Jesus will be the one to solve all, all your problems. Amen! Romans 8.31-32 Romans 8.31-32 Kung nagawa ni Jesus na ang buhay niya binigay niya sa krus ng Kalbaryo para sa ating kaligtasan, Ano pa kaya yung mga mumunti nating hinihiling ang hindi kaya ibigay ng Panginoon? If God become man and died on the cross of the Calvary, if He offered His life for us because He loves us so much, Galatians 20, He will also supply all our needs. This is God's promise. Kaya sa oras na ito, namang problema ka ba? Natatakot ka ba sa coronavirus? Natatakot ka ba sa kahirapan? Ano ba kinakatakutan mo ngayon? Kung si Jesus ang Lord God Saber ng buhay mo, wala ka nang dapat katakutan. Sila ang dapat matakot sa'yo. Pati nga si Satan, mga demonyo sa impyerno, dapat nga matakot sa'yo. Pati mga mumu, dapat matakot sa'yo. Kung takot ka sa mumu, abay, baka hindi ka natatakot sa Diyos. If you have fear in your heart, if you fear God, reverential fear, You know, you have nothing to fear. No one to be feared of. Yes. You are in the winning side. Gets mo? Hallelujah. Romans 8.31-32 If God is with you, who can be against you? Yes. If God is with us, who can be against us? And God has a promise. I will never leave you nor forsake you and I will be with you till the last, till the end of the world. Yes, I will be with you. Matthew 28, 20. Matthew 28, 20. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. I will never leave you. I will not, 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 I will not abandon you. I will be with you till the end of the world. Glory to God. Gets mo yun? So ano lang, ano lang ang dinidiin ko sa oras na ito na dapat mong gawin? Gawin mo number one ng buhay mo si Heso Kristo. Sa oras mo, dapat number one si Jesus. Sa buhay mo, sa pera mo, sa property mo, sa pag-aari mo, lahat dapat number one si Jesus. At dito na ako magwawakas, 1 Kings 17, basahin natin. Shall we open our Bible in the book of 1 Kings chapter 17? Tingnan natin. Sa unang hari, labing pito. Meron bang pandemya ngayon? Meron bang krisis ngayon? Dumating din ang panahon na merong krisis ng panahon ni Elijah. Mitagat, mitagutom ng panahon ni Elijah. Are we in crisis right now? Yes. And there was also a crisis during the time of Elijah. And listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. As Elijah is in the midst, is in the center of the will of God, as Elijah is fulfilling his calling, his mandate from the Lord as a prophet of God, as Elijah fearlessly obeying the Lord. You know, God supplied the needs of Elijah. Elijah, Elijah. 1 Kings 17 verse 1. 1 Kings 17 verse 1. Now Elijah the Tisvite from Tisbe in Gilead said to Ahab, 
as the Lord, the God of Israel lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except at my word. These few years means uh, seven years. Naunawaan po ba natin? Naintindihan po ba natin ito? So, hindi lang basta-basta few years yun, ha? Matagal yun, mga minamahal. Naunawaan po ba natin? Hmm. Hindi, hindi, hindi ganun kadali yun. So, naunawaan po ba natin? No? Hindi ganun kadali yung, yung few years na yun. Uh, that few years is not just a, a, a simple few years, no? Naunawaan po ba natin? For three and a half years, what I mean. For three and a half years. Not seven years, but three and a half years. Hmm. Naunawaan po ba natin? Yan. Three and a half years. For three and a half years, there, there was neither June nor rain. Yan. Yung seven years na tinutukoy ko, great tribulation period yun eh. So, hindi yun. So, dito muna tayo sa three and a half years na kung saan may, 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 may fam, fam, famine, tagutom, may krisis. Naunawaan natin. So, sa unang hari labing pito, verse 2, Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Live here, turn eastward and hide in the Keret Ravine, east of the Jordan, you will drink from the brook, and I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. Isipin mo, merong krisis, merong death threat, pero sinave ng Lord ang buhay ni Elijah, pinakain siya saan? Doon sa lawa, sa tubig, sa brook. Hmm. Tapos, sino nagpakain sa kanya? May courier, may food delivery. Sino? Uwak. You see? There was food carrier, there was food delivery. Oh, through the raven. Uwak. Napakabuti ng Panginoon. Kaya, lingkod ng Diyos, pastor at pastora, mga manggagawa ng Panginoon, mga pultay, mga leader, mga kristyano, yan, na nasa gitna ng kalaoban ng Panginoon. Glory to God may magsusupply ng ating mga pangangailangan at patuloy na isusupply ng Diyos ang lahat ng ating pangangailangan. Amen! Pambayad mo ng tubig, pang ilaw, pang gastos mo, pambayad mo ng tuition fee, lahat ng pangangailangan mo, God will supply it. Yeah. God will supply it. God will fight for you, will, will, will shield you, will protect you, will guide you, including your loved one and family. Loved ones and family. Glory to God. Naunawaan pa na pa ba natin yun? Tayo at ang ating pamilya at ang ministering pinagkatiwala sa atin ng Diyos, poprotektahan, gagabayan, at pagpapalain ng Diyos, gagamitin ng Lord mightily, effectively in this final hour. As the Lord bless us, shield us, guide us, protect us, we will be used by God more mightily, effectively in this final hour for the salvation of the lost. For the world to receive the real salvation of Jesus, to receive healing and miracle from the Lord, to experience the goodness of God. And we are bringing the nations of the world to its highest calling and perfect destiny in Jesus Christ. The Lord is using us more mightily effectively in this final hour and will use us more mightily effectively in this final hour. Purihin ng Panginoon. Isipin mo ha, pinaglaban ng Panginoon si Elijah. Iningatan yung buhay niya, tinago siya ng Diyos mismo ha. Dinala kung saan merong tubig na maiinom niya. At pagkatapos ay pinadala yung uwak. Pinakain siya. At hindi basta-basta pagkain. Grabe. Karni. Sipin mo yun. Glory to God. Nakakarni siya. Sipin mo yun. Yeah. Meat and water. Meat delivered by raven. And uh, water from the brook. You see? Seek you first His kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. And before I close, 1 Kings 17. 1 Kings 17. Mm. Verse 7. 1 Kings 17, verse 7. Sometime later, the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Go at once to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there, stay there. I have commanded a widow in that place to supply you with food. 
So he went to Zarephath. When he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and asked, Would you bring me a little water in a jar so I may have a drink? As she was going to get it, he called, And bring me please a piece of bread. As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son that we may eat and die. Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Go home and do as you have said. But first make me a small cake of bread for me from what you have and bring it to me. And then make something for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. The jug of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord gives rain on the land. So brethren, this widow of Zarephath seek first the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus, and do what is righteous in the eyes of God. He seek first the kingdom of Jesus and His righteousness and her blessings. Her blessings were multiplied. Yeah, multi multiplied. Dumami, a little oil in a jar and a little flour. God multiplied it. Yeah, supporting her and his son for three and a half years during famine, during crisis. Glory to God. Naunawaan mo po ako? Grabe, no? Sinuportahan ng Diyos si Elijah. O I mean, yung babaeng balo at saka yung anak niya na ulila sa ama. Three and a half years. Buhay sila. Minultiply yung konting langis, konting arena. Anong sikreto? Sinunod niya ang aral ni Elijah. Brethren, hear what I am saying. Hear I am, what I am prophesying. I am bringing you a prophetic message coming from the Bible. Apply this to yourself and you will live, including your family. Yeah, God will multiply your resources. God will multiply your, your blessing. Seek first his, his kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Brethren, Elijah is a true man of God, mandated by God, born from the heart of God, a true prophet of God. As the widow of the Sarepath. Yeah, the Sarepath of Sidon. Obeyed the preaching of Elijah. Give to Elijah what is due to him. You know, Elijah was a representative of God. As he gave, as the woman make Elijah the priority of her life, he is making God the priority of her life. Naunawaan po ba natin yun? Si Elijah, sugo ng Diyos. Eh, nung inuna niya si Elijah ang pinakain, Ibig sabihin, yun una niyang binigay ang sa Panginoon. Hmm. Naunawaan po ba natin yun? Hindi mahirap intindihin yun. Buhay mo, una mong ibigay sa Diyos. Ipagamit mo ang buhay mo kasama ang mga totoong lingkod ng Diyos, ang totoong ministeryo ng Diyos. Pera mo, sasakyan mo, ari-arian mo, tahanan mo, ipagamit mo sa Diyos kasama ang mga totoong lingkod ng Diyos, ang totoong ministeryo ng Panginoon, Gagamitin tayo ng Lord mightily, effectively, at imumultiply ng Diyos ang ating blessing. Yeah. Connect to the true man of God like Elijah. Join the true man of God. Join the true mandate. Join the true prophet of God. Join the, uh, the true minister of God, mandated by God, born from the heart of God. As we join that, and give our best Making God the priority of our life. 
yun. God will multiply our blessings more than we can ever think or even imagine more than what we have prayed for. Maliwanag ba yun? Maliwanag, no? Uulitin ko, ha? Anong ginawa? Sabi ni Elijah, sabi ng babaeng balo, eh, konting tubig, babibigyan pa kita. Ngayon, konting arena, konting langis, magluluto ako para sa'yo. Eh, isang luto na nga lang ito, mamamatay na kami. Eh, eh, magluto ka muna para sa akin. Tapos, sa, sa huli na kayo. At sinasabi ko sa'yo, pag ginawa mo yan, inuna mo ako, dahil i-representative ako ng Diyos, pero hindi ako talagang inuuna mo ang Diyos. Ako lang naman ay sugo lang naman ng Panginoon, representative lang ng Diyos. Alam mo, dadami yan. Dadami nga. So give your first fruits, your tithes and offerings to the true ministry, to the true kingdom of Jesus. Yes. Join the true ministry, join the true man of God, join the true kingdom of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and God will multiply your blessing. Yeah. Seek you first His kingdom, whose kingdom? The kingdom of Jesus. And all these things will be added unto you. Not all kingdom, not all kingdoms are kingdom of Jesus. Yes. Many are only building their own little kingdoms. Establishing their own little kingdoms. And all kingdoms that God has not all kingdoms that God never foot up will only be destroyed, demolished. Daniel 7.44 Daniel 7.14, what I mean? Daniel 7.14, Daniel 2.44 Daniel 7.14 and Daniel 2.44 Lahat ng kahariang hindi tinayo ng Diyos. Lahat ng iglesia, lahat ng relihiyong hindi tinayo ng Diyos, impyerno ang punta. Walang reward. Delikado. Join the true church, join the true ministry, join the true fellowship. Join the true men of God. Go to heaven and let your supplies be multiplied. Naunawaan po ba natin? Mga kapatid, sa oras na ito, wala kang dapat ikatakot, ikakabad, na baka mamatay ka, pamunta ka ng imperno. Wala kang dapat, wala kang dapat na ikakaba at ikatakot na tamaan ka ng virus, magkasakit ka, magutom ka, maghirap ka, wala kang maisuot. Wala kang masakyan, wala kang pambayad, etc. Di ba yan ang kinakatakutan ng marami? Baka mamatay, tas mapunta pa sa impyerno. Baka magkasakit, mamatay, mapunta pa sa impyerno. Kung magkakasakit, walang pambayad, walang pera, walang pampaopera. Di ba? Walang makain, walang maisot, walang madamit, walang masakyan. Walang pambayad ng renta, ng tubig, ng ilaw, ng telepono, walang pangload, walang pambili ng cellphone, etc. Yan ang kinakatakot ng marami, di ba? Yung mawalan, Many are afraid to die and go to, he to hell. Many are afraid to get sick and die and go to hell. Many are afraid to get sick and no money for, for hospital hospitalization, no money for medicine, no money for doctor's fee. Many are afraid not to pay this, not to pay this, and not to buy this, and not to buy this, but not to buy that because of lack of money or having no money. But, if you seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, do what is righteous in the eyes of God, be holy in the eyes of God, if God is the priority of your life, then God will supply all your needs. God will supply all our needs. Napakasimple lang naman ang sinasabi ko rito eh. May buhay na wala hanggang kay Jesus. May kagalingan, may himala kay Jesus. May pagkain, may masasakyan, may pambayad, may kasakotan, may panggasolina, may pangupa. Lahat ng pangangailangan natin, ibinibigay at patuloy binibigay ng Panginoon. Kung kagaya ni Elijah, gubit na tayo sa kalooban ng Diyos na pagtatanggol niya tayo. Kung kagaya ng babaeng balo, inuna ang Diyos sa buhay ni Elijah, minultiply ng Panginoon ang blessing niya kasama ang kanyang anak. Maliwanag po ba yun, mga minamahal? Is that clear? Elijah. You know, God is failed his life. God fed him through the raven that is bringing food, meat, meat to him daily. Daily, ha? Huh? And 
he drink water from the brook. And as the Saripat widow of Sidon obeyed God, he made God the priority of, he, of her life through Elijah, the, the true messenger of God. God multiplied her blessing, including the blessing of his, his son. He, he, he was a widow. Naunawaan natin. He has no husband, she has no husband, and uh, her uh, son has no father to provide for their needs. Naunawaan po ba natin? Kaya sa oras na ito, ginigilo na nakikinig at nanonood mga minamahal, gusto mo bang pumasok ng langit? Tanggapin mo na si Christ bilang Lord God Savior ng buhay mo. Balik na sa Panginoon. Balik na sa kara ni Christa Jesus. Join na sa Kingdom of Jesus. Kingdom of Jesus means heaven. Alam nga naman mag-join ka sa kingdom of Satan. <laughs> Gusto mo bang gumaling at maprotektahan? Gusto mo bang managana, mapromote, mabless sa kabila ng krisis sa buhay? At magamit ni Lord more mightily effectively in this final hour for the salvation of the world, for the healing and miracle of the world, to let the world experience His goodness, and to fulfill the and the, the world fulfill its highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ so we will make God the priority of our life sa oras na ito gagawin natin number one ng ating buhay si Jesus we will make God the number one para priority of our life baka may hinihingi sa iyo ang Diyos may pinapasuko may pinapabigay may pinapagawa sa iyo ang Diyos so gawin mo na ngayon Yes, the Lord is asking you to give this and that, to surrender this and that. God is asking you to do this and that, and do it now. And God will give us eternal life, and He will supply all our needs, including our family and ministry needs. Taas natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Sige po. Taas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Tayo pong lahat ay yumukha at pumikit. Lift our both hands to Jesus. Raise our both hands to Jesus. Habang ginagawa mo yan, na nakayokot na kapikit, nakataas ang dalawang kamay patungo ng langit, sige, isuko mo ng totohanan ang buhay mo sa Panginoon. Kung may naiisip, ka, may naiisip kang paglabag, bisyo, kasalanan, maling sekta, maling relihiyon, maling ginagawa mo sa buhay mo, hindi tama, hindi ayos, isuko mo na yan. Come on. If you belong to the false church, false religion, false organization, false denomination, You put up a false church, a false religion, a false denomination, a false coalition, a false movement. If you are living in sin, come on, repent from all of our sins and iniquities. Come on. Uraba kara ba shiri di yanda la la handa raba hande. Uraba kanda la la ba shiri di bianda. Come on. Come on. Sige po. Suho natin ang lahat. Baka nagtayo ka ng iglesia, hindi naman pinapatayo ng Diyos. Gusto mo lang kasing maging number one sikat. Nang agaw ka, nang divide ka, nanguha ka ng hindi ayun, nanira ka. Ng mga totoong lingkod ng Diyos. Suko mo ng lahat sa Panginoon niya. Suko na ang mga bisyo at kasalanan sa Panginoon. Suko na. Sige po, suko na. At sa oras na ito, tatamuhin natin ng buhay na wala hanggan. Tatamuhin natin ng kagalingan at himala. At mararanasan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Taas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Shall we leave our both hands to Jesus? Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we come to you with a humble heart. We come to you with a repentant heart. Inaamin po namin, makasalanan kami, ligaw lihis. Inaamin po namin, mali kami, mahalay kami. Hindi kami matuwid, hindi kami malinis, hindi kami banal. Masuwayin kami, ginawa namin, nilagay namin, tinayo namin. Ang hindi naman sa iyo, patawad po, Panginoon. Oh, Father God, forgive us for all of our sins and iniquities, for all of our transgressions, whether it is hide in the eyes of men, but Lord, but rebuild in your eyes. Forgive us, cleanse us, Lord, in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. 
Patawarin niyo po kami, hugasan niyo po kami, banalin niyo kami ng inyong dugo na nabuo sa krus sa Kalbaryo. Simula sa oras na ito, lahat po ng aming napakinggan, isa sa kabuhay namin. At lahat pa ng aming mapapakinggan, isa sa kabuhay namin, Panginoon. All the messages that we have heard this very hour, Father God, we will apply it all to ourselves. And, uh, and the words that we are about to hear more, Father God, we will put into practice all these things, Father God. So help us, God, to be pure, righteous, clean, holy in your sight, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, the Son of the living God. Was our heart, cleanse our heart with the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of the Calvary. Hugasan mo ang aming mga puso, Panginoon. Linisin mo ang aming mga puso ng iyong dugo na nabuho sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Isulat po ninyo ang aming mga pangalan sa Aklat ng Buhay sa Langit. Write our names in the Book of Life. That, uh, that our life after our uh, life after our life here on earth, when death comes to us, when the rapture comes, Lord, we will not go to heaven. We will not go to hell, Father God. We will not go to hell, but we will go to heaven. So thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And right now, Father God, we receive our healing and miracle. We receive, Lord, healing from coronavirus, healing from any sicknesses and diseases, healing from ulcer, from cancer, from kidney problem, all kinds of problems, all kinds of sicknesses and diseases, Father God. We receive your healing in Jesus' name. Tanggapin mo ngayon, kapatid ko, magulang, anak, minamahal, anumang sakit, anumang karamdaman, tanggapin mo kagalingan, tanggapin mo ang himala, tanggapin mo ang pagkapala, tanggapin mo ang kasaganaan, tanggapin mo sa pangalan ni Christ Jesus at sa kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu. Receive your healing now. Receive your miracle now. Habang, habang ipinapangaral ko ito, parang nakakaramdam ka ng masakit ang katawan mo, kasukasuhan, parang ka ng lalami, giniginaw, may trangkaso na hindi mo maintindihan. Para kang nahahapok. Yes. 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 So receive your healing now. Tanggapin mo ngayon ang kagalingan. Whatever your problems now, whatever you, the, discomfort now, you are a, uh, it, uh, you, that you do experience now, whatever pain, so let it be removed in Jesus' name. Receive your healing, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. At Panginoon, iligtas mo rin ang kanyang mga mahal sa buhay kung paano siyang naligtas. Gamitin mo siya para maligtas ang mga mahal sa buhay niya. Gamitin mo kami, ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, para iligtas ang mga mahal sa buhay niya, lahat ng tao sa Pilipinas, lahat ng tao sa buong mundo. At Panginoong Diyos, anuman, anuman pa ang mga pangangailangan niyang tangi ikaw ang nakakaalam, sagutin niyo pong lahat higit pa sa kanyang inaasahan. Grant all the good requests of his, her heart based on your will, Father God, more than she or he have prayed for, more than what she or he expect, Father God, in Jesus' name, beyond imagination, open the windows and doors of heaven, pour out, Lord, your blessings and healings and miracles success and prosperity Padre God in Jesus name in Jesus name ura bakanda rabashiri biyanda alam mo kapatid nasa isip mo palang alam na ng Diyos eh sinasagot sinagot na ng Diyos yan yes hindi mo pa sinasambit hindi mo pa binabanggit hindi mo pa pinapagpray yes God can read your mind no need uh, no need to express it no need to say it or what I mean Before you express it, before you say it, God knows your need. God can read your mind. And God is giving you all your needs and granting all the good requests of your hearts. Sinasagot ka na ng Panginoon. Lumundag ka na sa tuwa. Lumundag ka na sa tuwa. Pumalak pa ka na sa tuwa. Sumigaw sa tuwa. Magpuri, sumamba sa tuwa. Hallelujah! Ura makanda na ba siyanda? Come on, rejoice. Rejoice. God save you. God heal you. 
God grant the good request of your heart. God bless you, including the person you are praying. Persons you are praying, including your loved ones and your family. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rama. Kanda, Rama, Shanda. <laughs> Napakabuti ng Panginoon. God is good all the time and God is good forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, brethren, continue to join us in our live streaming. And if you want to attend, attend our live streaming every Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. And every Sunday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Sunday, Sunday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. Invite your loved ones, friends, and relatives to join us in our live streaming. If you have question, prayer request, counseling, don't be in hesitation. PM me, contact me, give me a text, give me a call, 917 0917-152-1963 or PM here. Ako po'y namamanik, nakikiusap, ako po sa inyo ay nagsusumamo, huwag maihiya, huwag matatakot, huwag kakabahan, ano man ang maitutulong ko namin sa inyo, eh kayo po'y kumontak lamang, mag-PM lamang, mag-text lamang, mag-call lamang, ipaalam nyo sa amin. At ano man ang kaya namin itulong gawin para sa inyo, gagawin po namin. Glory to God sa tulong ng ating Panginoon. Maliwanag po ba yun? Don't be afraid to contact us, contact me. Give me a text, give me a call, or PM me. If you need counseling, if you, if you have a question, if, if you have a prayer request, so whatever help we can render to you, so just contact us. Contact me. Glory to God. Thank you for your love, care, concern, and support. Thank you for your financial support. Thank you for your prayer and fasting. Continue to send your financial support. Contact me, PM me. We have, there, there are so many, many ways for you to send your financial support. Just contact me, PM me. Glory to God. Maliwanag po ba yun, mga minamahal? Kumontak, mag-PM. Maraming kaparaanan para makadalo kayo, maging bahagi ng Kingdom of Jesus. Maraming kaparaanan para sumuporta. Tuloy ang pananalang, tuloy ang pag-aayuno, tuloy ang pagdalo. Kung nais yung tumalo, kumontak lamang po kayo. Glory to God. So, pansamantala lamang po mga minamahala, live streaming Sunday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. ha? Dati 3 p.m. yung ginawa nating 2 p.m. Glory to God. And, praise the Lord, and every Friday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. So, pansamantala lamang po mga minamahal. God bless you and God bless you more. This is a God's servant, a man of God in this final hour. Always praying for you and loving you and always desiring what is best for you and your loved one and family. God bless us more. And more and more. God bless you more and more and more. Ricardo Diaz Carillo.